Assalamualaikum and hello. Before we start our presentation for Domino's Pizza Case Study, let me introduce our group members. And I am Nurul Elena Shwada Abendi Amar Fuad 047099 and volunteer to be a presenter for this task. For your information, we are from Group 5 and call for Domino's Pizza Case Study. The Domino's story began in 1960 when two brothers, which are Tom Morgan and James Morgan, opened their first pizza store called Domino's in the Michigan. In 1965, they renamed their successful pizza Domino's. By 1978, there were 200 pizza in operation. By 1989, there were 5,000 Domino's stores. Domino's was originally called as Dominic. Domino's Pizza has unveiled its a new campaign with the aim of strengthening the emotional connects with consumers by creating memorable moments of togetherness while capturing it in the new deadline Del Dosti Domino's. Domino's ambition to be the number one in pizza and number one among the people. It would rather to say that Domino's wanted its organization to be the first choice among the people whenever they want to eat pizza while being the global pizza brand across the world. While Domino's mission statement is to sell more pizza, have more fun while serving the best pizza in the world, which refers to the power of feeding people with one pizza at a time with exceptionally committed performance and giving an ultimately delivery experience to their customers. The objective for this organization is to provide fast pizza deliveries, having good and cautious team, provide delicious pizza with less price, market the pizza globally and locally, improve customer relations and purchase frequency. The strategies that had implemented by Domino's Pizza consists of technology innovation, distribution and vertically integrated delivery strategy. In order to achieve speedy deliveries, Domino's Pizza focused on technology innovation while enhancing the delivery distribution. Therefore, Project 310 was introduced by Domino's Pizza to improve fast deliveries. Three minutes will be taken to put the pizza use a smart oven that uses proportionate it directly onto the pizza, while delivery will be within 10 minutes in the closer neighborhood. Also, product innovation and new recipes by adding more variation of product including pastas, sandwiches, desserts, and other side dishes. New recipes from Minos France, new sauce formulation in Japan, new oven baked sandwiches recipe in Germany. Oven baked dips was introduced during the pandemic. For marketing and pricing strategy, Domino's used digital marketing, traditional marketing and advertising. Bubble pricing strategy, a mixture of premium pricing for the same products. Prevent price discrimination, fences, pricing, group pricing, channel pricing, product positioning, and self-selection pricing. For market expanding globally and locally, Domino's used researchment strategy to open stores in other regions. About the Domino's time and operation, Domino's Demographic factors, geographic factor, and event oriented factor. Chain company owned stores and franchise are the base reason to expand the market. Then transparency and brand loyalty. Domino's use ad campaigns display the customer's feedback in the website, advertising, and on social media to gain brand trust. And also, Domino's has implemented loyalty program. The vision that has been improved is to become number one is pizza franchising while satisfying the customers' and employees' needs with delicious pizza, innovative technology, and customer-centric brand worldwide. The latter vision touches on the ability of Domino's in expanding more franchises globally and in America. Domino's should explore more on the liking of foreign demand. Domino's should widen their delivery areas. Innovative technology should provide food anywhere and anytime. In adapting a customer-centric value, Domino's should put themselves in the customer's shoes to know what the best. For information, is providing smart deliveries to keep warm pizza for the customers to bring more joy in every bite. It was based on Domino's efficient delivery. The faster the food gets to the customer, the happier they feel. Domino's wants their customers to have fresh, hot baked pizza instead of cold ones. Domino's considers that every bite offers a different taste to the customer and their feedback is very important. If the food is good, then positive feedback will be achieved. Thus, Domino's exists to provide the best pizza to the customer anywhere and anytime. The main competitors for Domino's Pizza are Pizza Hut and Papa John. 
based on the assigned important success elements, Pizza Hut appears to have more power in dominating the market than Domino's and Papa John's, according to their CPM. Domino's maintains a middle ground position between Pizza Hut and Papa John's with an overall score of 2.4. Most of the success indicated in the highlighted the company's weakness deal with the both internal and external sources. This means Domino's Pizza needs to dig deeper into its internal and external capabilities to match and surpass Pizza Hut's success. The IFP score of Domino's is 2.63 and EFP score is 2.84 and company lies in 357 quadrant. This is where company use whole and maintain strategy. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Yuqman Hakim, Muhammad Fazil and I will continue my group presentation and my next slide is SWOT Matrix. For strengths, opportunity strategy, we listed two strategies which is using good returns on capital for global and strong free cash flow can increase global expansion. For example, Domino's is projecting 25 billion in annual sales globally by 2035, double is 2017 sales of 12.25 billion as well as 2000 new US store within that time frame. For weakness opportunity strategy, there were also two strategies which is reduce indirect costs and make market. To run the Domino's Pizza process, we'll have to incur various indirect costs that partly contribute in the production and delivery of products and services. The most common indirect costs are such as utility cost use, rent and other overheads such as department mental expenses. For the next strategy, which is provide healthy food by doing market research, Domino's Pizza needs to provide healthy food to customers because today many are aware of having a healthy life. This trend of healthy food intake needs to be taken care of by Domino's Pizza so as not to be left behind in the market. For the strength trades strategy is maintain through free cash flow to avoid unstable financing financial during pandemic. And for the weakness trade strategy is reduce indirect cost to maintain economic during pandemic and solve problem with the franchising model to reduce competitive pressure. Dominos can introduce in new schemes, new schemes and offer in order to maintain its grip on its customer. The home delivery is always free of charge. Sometimes Dominos can offer a 50% discount on the second pizza. At other times, they also can introduce schemes like one small pizza free on one large pizza. Or maybe lucky coupons are also awarded to loyal buyers. The most regular and common scheme is of giving a coke free on every purchase. This the advertising team is actively involved in the marketing and promotional strategy to boost up the sales. Let's go to the next slide. Strategic position and action evaluation matrix. This is our result of the calculation. And this is our line graph. From the result and the line graph, this particular space matrix tells us that Dominus Pizza should possess an aggressive strategy. Dominus Pizza has a strong competitive position in the market with rapid growth. It needs to use its internal strength to develop a market penetration and market development strategy. This can include product development, integration with other companies, acquisition of competitors, and so on. For the next slides, Boston Consulting Group or BCG Matrix. STARS is the emerging items in the product portfolio of an organization. In Domino's Pizza, BCG Matrix, the financial services strategic business unit, is a shining star. It works in a market that has the potential to grow in the future. This SBU strategic business unit contributes a major portion of Domino's Pizza revenue. Domino's Pizza should vertically integrate its supply chains by acquiring others' company. Next, Cash Cows is the product that have been in the market for some time and captured a significant share in the market. The strategic business unit of supplier management services is a money maker in Domino's Pizza PCG matrix. This has been running for decades and has brought in a substantial amount of money for Domino's Pizza. Although Domino's Pizza has a large market share, the entire market is shrinking as business under their own suppliers rather than outsourcing them. Then, question mark is a product or business unit with a low market share but in a higher growth market. The product has opportunity to increase market share and dominate the market. In Domino's Pizza BCG Matrix, the local food strategic business unit is a question mark. Consumers are increasingly focusing on local foods according to recent market trends. As a result, this market is experiencing rapid growth. Domino's Pizza, on the other hand, has a little market share in this area. Domino's Pizza best approach is to invest to research and development in order to come up with new features. And the last category in BCG Matrix is dogs, which is includes all those business units or products that are not profitable 
available for the organization. In Domino's Pizza, BCG Matrix, the plastic based strategy business unit is a dog. For the past five years, the critical business unit has been losing money. It also competes in market that is contracting as a result of rising environmental concerns. Domino's Pizza should diverse the strategic business segment and minimize its losses according to the recommended, recommended approach. This is external internal metrics or IE metrics. The IE matrix has 9 cell and 9 quadrant. This matrix shows both value, IFE score and EFE score. So we can measure our company position where it lies, its quadrant and which strategy will be used for future. The IFE score of Dominus is 2.63 and EFE score is 2.84 and company lies in 3, 5 and 7 quadrant. That is why company use old and maintain strategy. Quadrant 1 is strong competitive position and rapid market growth. This quadrant has a significant competitive advantage and the market is expanding rapidly. This is arguably the strongest quadrant to be in, with plenty of opportunity and solid position. Quadrant second, weak competitive position and rapid market growth. This quadrant has a very weak competitive position as a company, but there is a lot of opportunity and success to be had in the market. The strategy in this position are all about why you are making the most of your situation. If you're in this quadrant, you already know what you can do to improve your outcomes. Quadrant third, weak competitive position and slow market growth. The third quadrant indicates a weak competitive environment as well as a slow market. This is a difficult situation because you are already struggling and there isn't the big opportunity that the second quadrant offers. Quadrant fourth, strong competitive position and slow market growth. The fourth quadrant got a lot of competition, which is excellent, but your market isn't growing or declining. This is lent itself to diverse Diversification tactics because you have the finances to experiment in a variety of areas before the market's downturn become uns unsustainable. For the next slide is Quantitative Strategic Planning Metrics or QSPM. QSPM is used to evaluate the two strategies that are optional. Strategy 1 is Product Development while strategy 2 is market development. These strategies are evaluated in terms of SWOT or SWOT's value of Domino's Pizza. According to QSPM comparison, strategy 2 which is market development strategy should be implemented because of high total value which is 5.77. For recommendations, continuous strategy for Domino's Pizza is technology, innovations, distributions, and vertically integrated delivery strategy. And then, market expanding globally and locally, transparency, and brand loyalty. Marketing and pricing strategy, product innovations, and new recipes. While new strategies is utilizing the use of CRM software for all franchise including the globe. Next, it provides the marketing strategy and public relations. And the last one is ensuring uh, sufficient flexibility of future supplies. Okay, that's all from me and my friend and thank you.